you couldn't last 10 seconds, 10 seconds in my world. In my world, not just on the mat, in my world. You don't know, you don't even know. <laughs> Darren Till, hello. Hello. Thanks for joining us, man. I yeah, appreciate it. Good. Um, congratulations are in order, aren't they? You got a new one on the way. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm a stud, aren't I? I'm a stud. Yeah, you are, mate. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I say it, man, is like you're 26 years old. Yeah. You got kids. You fought for a world title in Vegas. You're probably one of the, You are one of the biggest name fighters in yeah, Europe right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm the same age as you, and the, that pressure. It feels crazy, mate. Yeah, I, I've just, I feel like I'm just going on. I feel like since I got back to England in 2017, you know, I was in Brazil for a while later, but I feel like I'm just sort of on a, on a ride now and, and I, I can't stop it. I feel like I can't press the stop button. And, and I, I don't really want to press the stop button. So, like, I think it's just, I just need to just be on this ride, just let, let, let whatever's going to happen, happen. I, I can't even. You know what I mean? Like from nothing to something to, to, to everything. I know Connor, Connor McGregor said that to Ray Hawani in an interview, and that's what it feels like. Not with his money, like, but you know, uh, going around everywhere over the world, getting stopped every place I go, getting respect, getting you know, uh, just got a good team around me, and as you said, me new, me new little family, who I love and adore, and I just. I think they're on the ride with me. I think everyone around me as well, like my close friends and the, the team, we're all just on like a ride. And I think we're all really enjoying it. So I, I don't really want to press the stop button. And, I, I, and when it does end, I, I probably will be like, oh, why did you want that to end? Like, look at that, what you've done, or look at this. And it's just phenomenal. I, I can't even really explain it. There's no words to explain it. What would you say to fighting a co-main event at MSG? You're about to have a new, a new uh, girl or, or boy. You know, you, you know. I've just, I don't know what to say. You've been anywhere in the world where someone hasn't recognised you? Not, not one place. I was in Colorado. Got noticed. I was in Canada. I was in the most remote village in Canada. Like mean remote. Like, there was the hotel, and that was it. And I said to my friend who was there, because we got business over there from here in Canada, and I said, all uh, oh, right, I said, no one will notice me here. As a joke, I, there's no one, I, I love every bit of it. And he was like, oh yeah. As soon as I said that, about 20 minutes later, got a photo with these guys, and then again with another group, and then this woman, this woman, she's like 45 with, with a guy. And I was just like to them, I said, I didn't realize how worldwide, not this was, I am. Even to just the normals, do you know what I mean? So like, I don't know, it's, I'm on this ride and, and I just can't believe that. I can't believe that everyone's here. Yeah, looking at you. Yeah. Does it feel like pressure? It did do a little bit as well, but like now, listen, I'm just going into a fight where I'm probably getting 99% doubted and whatever, and oh, it could be his third loss or whatever, why is he doing this fight, whatever, so I'm just like, I'm just gonna go in there and fight. How'd you cope with it, man? Talk to Colin. Colin's, Colin's a, Colin's like, Colin is a big part of everything. Colin's like, he's, he's very direct with what he says. He's not, he doesn't really beat around the bush. He'll say, listen, he'll, you know what I mean? So he's very direct, Colin. Even in life, obviously, Colin just wants to direct me in, in the best possible way. We, we're not money orientated. As long as we're okay and we're not worrying about bills, me and Colin, we're not so worried. Obviously, it'd be nice to say, oh, we made a million each and whatever. I think I did make a million, but I spent it. <laughs> Bastard. Uh, but Colin is like, he is the, the, the stone that's holding everyone together. And, and you know, he's a good guy. He's a, he's a really good guy. And he's a very knowledgeable guy in life. You know, he he wouldn't tell you a lot about what he's been through and what his you know a lot of his family and stuff like that. He's a he's a dangerous man, Colin as well. He's a very dangerous man, not just on the man. And he's training you, yeah. Yeah. He's more than a coach, then, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, obviously, people throw the words. Oh, he's a father figure. And that. I just see him as like this this world mentor. He's a mentor of the world to me, because like. He's, he's, this doesn't knock 
coming across bad guys, like the know it all, and he knows to me, he know he knows it all. So I go to him and do. And there's times when he says things, and I'm like, mm, you know, sometimes you gotta trust your gut instinct. But I I go to Colin for 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 the most part of every little bit of advice. Do other people come to you with a bit of advice and you don't want to hear it? Yeah, they do, and I just I really just want to tell them to fuck fuck off. <laughs> I, I do because like the the the. They're coming with advice that they just know, know, they don't know nothing about. Why are you trying to give me advice? What are you saying? You don't know. What, make, what gives you the right to, to tell me to do it this way? What gives you the right to tell me that I should have done this in my fight? You couldn't last 10, second, 10 seconds in my world. In my world, not just on the mat, in my world. You don't know, you don't even know. You can't touch me, I'm untouchable compared to you. That's how I feel like, and so many people. There was this guy, I was in the gym, another gym, and he come over and he was just like, he was so close that I didn't hit him. He, I had to hold me back, because first thing he said to me was, I got knocked out, didn't you? And I was just like, I felt like saying, I'll fucking knock you out in a minute, mate. Like, who the fuck do you think you're talking to? But they don't have no clue, and it's advice after this, and it's advice from that. The only people who have the right to give me advice is Colin and close friends who are looking out for me. Other than that, shut up. I don't go around doing it. And trust me, I'm 26 and I've got, I've got a, a lot of wisdom. I've done a lot of things, a, a lot of things in this life, this short life of 26, and I know a lot of stuff. I might not do it, but I know about it. And, 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 and you know, uh, for people to come over and say, I should have done this in a fight, or. You shouldn't be having that uh, beer, or you shouldn't be eating that, that 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 food. What do you know? You don't know nothing. You really don't know nothing. So stay away. Yeah, I think if I can match these welterweight, uh, these middleweights, strength and size with speed, I think that gives me an advantage in that area. You know, I'll be faster than most. But Kelvin was a welterweight himself, so he's obviously already got the speed from that. So if I can carry on my speed and that from welterweight and movement, you know, I'm going to be faster than a lot of these guys. So, it's never mattered to me, Colin, Colin said to me uh, once about any man over 70 kilos should be able to defend himself against any other man and I agree with that. So it's not necessarily about size and strength to me, it's about technique and speed and, that, and that's what we're, we're working on and, and you know, to not make this, you know, just to go in there and have a good fight as well, that, that's what I want. I it's just surreal, especially as well that the main event is a former opponent. Uh, a lot of people have asked me as well, uh, what do I think of that? And you know, truthfully, from the heart, deep down, not one bit of like jealousy or being a green-eyed monster. There is just pure. You know, I, I'm happy for Masvidal that he's got that main event spot, and, and it's true 100% for me. But you know, I'm there still, coming in, and you know, the card is the trash cans and the, the posters around New York has got my face on as well. So. You know, it's like a joint venture there, and I can't, I don't really know what to say. It's, it, it's, it's sort of like a ride at the moment. I'm not, I'm not being able to say, even with the losses and the wins, it's, it's just like this one mad ride. Like, since 2017, the start, getting back fighting in Sweden, you know, from a, a two year layoff, I don't really know what's going on in my life right now. It's just, you know, main event here, main event there, fighting this guy, fighting this guy. I, I don't really know what to say. I think, I think I'll probably appreciate it more when I haven't got it. I think that's what a lot of guys do. I don't think they really appreciate I don't think I, I don't feel like I'm appreciating the moments as I should be now. So I feel like in a few years I will I will really sit back and appreciate and I want it all there. You know, in a few years I want it to still be about this now. But we're just I'm just going through this ride and I'm just I'm, I'm enjoying it really. Am. A lot of people keep saying about me having like big bollocks taking this fight and and, and I don't see it like that like where I come from and how, you know, how we train and how I am as a fighter mentality is I'm here to fight the best, win or lose, I'm here to fight all these, you know, these tough fighters. I don't, I don't really understand the concept of the easier path or the easy fights. If that's what you want, maybe you should look at another career. You know, I'm coming off two losses and probably taking one of the most risky fights, not even in the middleweight division, in the whole of the UFC, so, you know, we, I can't say enough about Kelvin, I've got respect for him, but I'm going in there to, to prove my worth against him. Listen, 
you know, I, I could may well lose. Could be a, could be another knockout. There's, there's nothing really to say about that. Either it is or it isn't. If I know what I'm good at and I do it, Kelvin won't touch me. He won't he just simply won't lay a glove on me. But then it could go the other way and he, you know, he could be victorious on that night. We'll just have to see. But yeah, you know, if it's a third loss, you know, at least I didn't take the the shit bag route. You know what? I'm fighting the best and I'm taking all the day and I tried to convince not to take the fight and I just was like, why? Why? So, you know, if it's, a, if it's another loss, which it won't be, so what? Do you know what? I couldn't care less about the another way about right now. I really couldn't. I just couldn't care. Whatever happens with Israel and Costa, whether Israel wins or loses, if I win against Calvin, I feel like that's the fight to make it on field. Yeah, whether the title's there or not. Listen, let, let, let all these top middleweights now, they, they, they have earned their right. Let them chase the belt. I'm chasing something different right now. The belt will, will come within time. You've got to, I've got to be very patient. I'm only 26. I'm called main event in MSG, you know. I've got, another, I've got a lot of years left to give. There are other lads in the UFC, other fighters, that you will listen to, a bit of respect for. Listen, I've got respect for everyone. And, and if s someone, could come up to, someone could come up to me in the street and say, Dad, do you know what, mate? I don't really know this respect. This and your last fight. And I'll listen to them. But, you know, when people are trying to impose advice on me, it's just, it doesn't work for me. You know, uh, there's, there's guys I look to for inspiration. Connor is one of them. Masvidal is one of them. I like Nate a lot. Usman, uh, John Jones, you know, uh, Cain Velasquez, I, I liked him so much. I looked at them and how do they live their lives? Obviously, maybe the way John Jones was living his life is not, I don't know. You've lost two fights in a row. Other fighters would be looking at changing camp, maybe changing trainer. But after what we've just said about Colin, I can't see you doing that. Ever, maybe. Ever, ever, ever. Listen, we'll, we'll win as a team. We'll lose a team, we'll, we'll, we'll survive as a team and we'll die as a team. We'll, you know, uh, it's funny because even problems on out, outside of the gym, I'm, I'm always up for it. And, and as much as I'm this UFC superstar, whatever you want to call it, if, if someone was in the street where all the cameras are watching was to, to, to try and harm Colin in front of me, I, I, you know, I'd be putting an axe to his head. We're, we're together in this, in everything. And Colin helps me so much. And, and I'll help Colin, I help Colin, I, you know, and, and, and I give my part, he gives his part, and, and that's just it. There's, just, there's no, like, grass is greener. Yeah, things need to be changed up sometimes, you know, you need to tweak it here, there. You know, I said after this fight, I said to the, my friend John, I said, oh, I said, I might go and do a month in America, get a few little bits of sparring. I'm not changing teams, I'm just going to get a little bit of sparring with some top, top fighters. Or, go to Brazil for four yeah, years, go to come Bra back. Go to Brazil for four years, that, that shows how much Colin hasn't got an ego. You know, he's, he's just willing to just give us that until to four years to Brazil. And go on, go, Dad, and go, will this help me, Cole? Yeah, you're gonna come back, you'll be in the FC and blah, blah. Okay, Cole, I'll go. People were saying that about AJ, weren't they, after he lost to Ruiz? They were saying that he should change trainer. Listen, I'm not like I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of, of AJ. I, I think I think he's trained to be to be like this perfect fighter, to, in 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 media eyes, in the public's eyes. I think. Who's he fought recently? You know. Sorry. Who's he fought recently? Was my take on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. Yeah. But for for you to even consider trying to give AJ Anthony Joshua, a, give your opinion, mate. Like we all do, I'm giving mine. I think Josh is not going to listen to me. He doesn't, give, <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck who I am. Yeah. And why should he? On top of the world. Why, why should he? But for you to say after all these years, he should just leave his trainer. How much of a fucking disloyal, fucked up person must you be for you to say that? You have no clue what goes on and yet. What, we only see what, what they want us to see. And you know, what I see, I don't like. I'm not, I'm not his biggest fan. I really, do you know what, just so everyone can shut up. I hope he beats Andy Ruiz, just so everyone can just shut up. Because it's got to the point now I'm just thinking to myself, wow, you forgetting everything. He did knock out Klitschko, yeah. like, come on. You know, obviously everyone knows Fury's my man. And same thing, you know. Uh, but, but for people to start giving all this uh, advice, yeah, opinions, but you'll see people on side of, or, or especially on social media, and, and, 
No, they're right. If their advice is always should take my advice, mate. I'm sorry to say this, but you're wrong. Like, you really don't know what you're, you're talking about. Get back to your job and shut up. How's your confidence? I, I'm good. I, I'm, you know, when, I, when I'm fighting, when I'm training, when I'm on the pads with collar, when I'm sparring. You look like it. I'm untouchable. I'm untouchable. Simply untouchable. But then, obviously, coming from two losses, you, it's like my world come crashing down. Like, oh my God, I thought I was the best. It's just something I need to work on. You know what I mean? So there's days where sometimes put put the demons to the back of the head and be like, Aaron. I think every fighter has it. I think I'm just more open to talk about it. I think I'm. I'm not gonna sit here and say things that UFC could come to me and be like, Dad, you shouldn't say this about. Well, why? Why shouldn't I say it? What you want me to? As I said, be this trained guy. No, I'll just say what comes to mind and. You know what I mean? Like there was a time when I said something about my kid and uh, about my kids, and it come across as that. But whichever way it's gonna come across, we all know. Like Mike Bisping did a podcast on it, and he knew what I meant. It's like there and then I was fighting for the world title. Nothing else mattered. Nothing else mattered in in this world. Nothing mattered. It was about that world title. After that, reap the glory and the benefits. You know, if, if I let's say if I were the one with my family, my cherished family, who, who, who I love and adore. Look, we've done it, we made all this hard work, because it's hard work and effort that you need to put in. You can't have them stupid distractions. Well, I'm not saying my, my kids are stupid distractions, but you, you've got to have that 100% focus on, on the gym. There's none of this, oh, you have to miss a session because the baby, you have to take the baby to nursery. No, you, you will find a way to get the baby to nursery and make your session. That's what it means. It doesn't mean you don't care about your kids. Come on, yeah, yeah. what are we talking about? And if, as well, if you're gonna deal with that doubt, before you can start processing it, you have to acknowledge it, don't you? You have to accept it's there. Yeah, and you have to know that when you go into that fight, did you do everything that was possible to, to win that fight? Which means, did you, did, did you do everything in the gym? Did you, listen, when people say, you can't miss a sit-up, do not listen to them, because everyone misses sit-ups. If Colin says 15, I'll do 14. Not every time, but sometimes. Trust me, there's days where we all do it. Fighters will tell you that they don't, but they're lying to you. Trust me. But was you in that gym grafting? What means was you putting them rounds and them wrestling rounds, them sparring rounds? Was you, you know, when you're doing your sit-ups, was you doing them properly? Not just 10, because Colin said 10. Are you really wanting to get everything out of that what he's commanded? That's what it means. And then when you go into that fight, you say, yeah, I've done everything. I did, okay, there might have been a runner missed or there was a few sit-ups less have done. Trust me, that doesn't affect you. People will say it will, it doesn't. I know it doesn't. It's about the graft and, and in the gym, Colin will tell you and everyone else will tell you, I, I'm the grafter, I graft, no one grafts like me. If, if, if there's a time to mess about in that, I'm all for it, but if there's a time for grafting that gym when I get there, I, 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 no one's got a work rate like me. I just, I work so hard, because I love it. I, I love working hard. Do you end up regretting anything? Uh, should have been a fucking dentist or something. <laughs> it's, fucking, it's hard work, but no, I don't. I don't think any any mistake or any loss or anything I've ever done in my life, outside and inside, I, I don't think I've got one regret. You know, I, I, there's been a lot of low points. No one, you know, I, I could never even talk about and. There's been a, a lot of high points, but I would never, ever change anything that's happened in this life for anything. It's just all happened the way it was meant to be. It brings you to a point, boy to him. Yeah, boy, boy to man, man to old man. <laughs> um, just finally, you're going to get one back from Mike Bisping. Put it through Kelvin Gasson's oh, face. That, that's a, I've had that, I've had that, uh, that question a lot. I, yeah. I hope so, because he, he done he done our mic, didn't he? So we, we'll see. I, you know, I'm going to go in there and, and give it my all. I, I really am. Darren, thanks, mate. Yes, mate. Thank you.